This program is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. and streaming live all across America. This is Home Talk USA with Michael King, where we will discuss topics pertaining to your home with industry-leading experts. Michael King is a licensed general contractor with more than 30 years of experience in home improvements and the author of Contracting with the King. Join us this hour for our segment, Invent America, with your co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Discover what's next in the home improvement industry and explore new products and innovations. Or if you have that next great big idea, learn what it takes to bring your invention to the world as Michael King and Rita Crompton talk to America's inventors and innovators. Remember, the America of tomorrow is being invented today. We invite you to visit us at HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, we proudly present Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. Yay! Welcome, America! That's right. This is part of the Home Talk USA radio family, the Home Talk USA Home Improvement Show, where each week and every week we like to talk to different inventors, the technologies of the future. Um, to, you know, I, I woke up one day and I had the inventor lady herself, Rita Crompton, been on the show many times trying to help um, uh, these companies get their products to market, their technology to market, and I really didn't realize the path and the difficulties that it would take to get some great new technology uh, to the market, and I said, hey, it would be a waste, it would be a waste to have a great technology that can basically make all our lives a little better, but it didn't even come up to the plate because of all the bureaucratic financial uh, so hey so that's what this show is all about i'd like to welcome my co-host right now the invent a lady herself miss rita crompton hey rita how you doing i am doing fine michael how are you where does time go it it, it, it looked like i was just talking with you now it's time uh, to do this all over again <laughs> man i i i know I, like, I never okay. realized how fast a week would go by till I was starting to do the radio show every Monday, and it's like, holy cow, it's Monday again. <laughs> and I think uh, you're starting to respect of what it takes to produce a weekly radio show. It's not easy, huh? C- keep coming up with the, the new, fresh uh, uh, information and topics and uh, uh, all the, uh, you know, the, that we have to have to make the, uh, the show fresh e- each week, right? That, that is so true, and, and fortunately, because I've been involved with Amer- inventors across America through the United Inventors Association and certainly the National Hardware Show, um, and now that we are doing this, I will get somewhere between five and ten new inventors every day who want to be on the show. That's amazing. And with yep. my conversations with them, I have actually got topics listed out to cover us through about August. <laughs> Oh, you do it better the, than it does. <laughs> you know, and the list just keeps growing because I will get somebody in a conversation. Like, oh, we can do that for a show. Oh, we can do that for a show. So yeah. we have got inventors that contact us all the time, either through the form that is on my website, inventorlady.com, and those drop right into my mailbox or LinkedIn. And if you go to, to LinkedIn, oh, my goodness. We will get so many comments and requests to be on, um, problems that people have solved, and they want to share. Yep. Now, today's topic... It's wonderful. Yeah. Now, today's topic is going to be about your first prototype, right? Well, today's topic is about how things have changed post-pandemic. Okay. Oh, the first prototype was last week. See, I'm I'm, I'm a week behind. 
Okay, you're, that's you're good. Hey, I'll get you, I'll get you caught up. Yeah, you got to get me caught up. All right. <laughs> but that's good. There we already go. did a show on your first product. Hey, so there, tell me the show last week. That's right. So, so tell me about the show. Well, you know, nobody put pandemic in their 2020 business plan. 2019 was rolling along. Everything was great. We went to the National Hardware Show. We had good products out there. And then in January of 2020, everything came to a screeching halt. And, you know, well, we, one of our inventors that's on today, he survived. One of the other ones, the, the first one, Frank, he's just, he started, you know, right about then, but now he wasn't manufacturing. So now he's getting into manufacturing mode. Well, things have changed, and um, our, our expert who's on this afternoon is um, Joshua Robinson with ITI Manufacturing, and they've been around for a long time. I've worked with IT, IT, ITI many, many years, and they're going to share with us what they have seen change um, wow. post-pandemic, and some of it is material, some of it is, you know, the different stores are looking at different pricing. You know, Amazon took a big jump, and ate everybody's lunch during pandemic yeah. mode and so a lot of products now instead of launching at a local hardware store will launch on amazon yeah that's a good point and uh so we have a great show for everybody and um and we're going to be talking about um all these great new topics the fresh content uh each week and at the end of the show we got some always got breaking news what's happening here uh but we're going to also um uh, remind people uh, how they can reach you, right? That's right. We always do. And uh, now, Rita, uh, there's a lot going on. So let's talk about our three guests again. Uh, yeah, Frank Tegler, right, with the Tegler Leash, right? Yes, and Frank is a fairly new inventor. He's got a lot of ideas. He's just getting ready to get some into the marketplace. Right. And um, then our next one, Mendel, he is actually manufacturing, and he manufactured Whoa. through the pandemic. Okay, Very cool that. product. Uh, yeah. I, I know what all of my ladies in the family are getting for Christmas. They're getting one of these vases. And wow. um, and then our yeah. expert, Mendel, is actually a client of ITI Manufacturing. So they okay. have been doing the manufacturing. So a great a contact it. there. Um, I find that a lot of times our experts and our sponsors, um, ITI, we're working together to see if we can get them as a sponsor. And they will have then clients. If they're going to be the expert, frequently they've got a client who lives through that issue. Wow. And, and the whole purpose so we've got, is... And I, We've got so many contacts out yeah. there. It's wonderful. And the whole purpose of what we do here is to, to basically, again, to recap, is to give that good blueprint from um, pr the development stage, the writing stage, prototype stage, legal stage. Just walk them through this path uh, so they can avoid them making all these serious rookie mistakes that you can make trying to get your product to market, right? That's right. And for the inventors who are listening to the show, um, what we do is we say, all right, here, if you want to be able to ask questions and, and get on with us, we do the Inventor Roundtable meetings twice a month. They're free. All you have to do is log into it. Um, and so that information is available for the way you sign up to, to attend the meetings. And, you know, a lot of times our service providers and our guests that are on will be attending the meetings so you can actually talk to them and ask them questions. But we want all of our regular listeners out there to say, oh, my goodness, what a cool product, and then go to the websites and support your local inventors by buying their products. And that's yeah. wonderful. That, that is. Well, there's some music right there uh, that's telling me we got to take a break, got to pay some bills right here. On the Home Talk USA radio program, you're listening to the Invent America segment of our show, where each week and every week we try to help, to expose, to guide, to advise all these young inventors, to uh, and also educate you on the technology that's coming up the pike. Uh, Home Talk USA is about 10 years ahead of everybody, uh, so it's good to know what's coming up in the near future. So right here, uh, we are streaming live on the Genesis Communication Radio Network at GCNlive.com. On behalf of the inventor lady herself, Rita Crompton, and myself, the Cajun Man from the Fire Land, we're going to be right back. Yay!
USA with Michael King. Do you have questions about your next home improvement project or home repairs? Now you can chat with verified home repair and home improvement experts in just minutes. Get the help you need by visiting HomeTalkUSA.com, one of the best resources for home improvement information around today. Your best life begins with your best home, and there's no place like Home Talk. That's HomeTalkUSA.com. And now, back to Invent America from the number one home improvement radio program in the country, Home Talk USA, with your host, the Cajun contractor, Michael King, and his co-host, the inventor lady, Rita Crompton. All right, welcome back to the only home improvement show dedicated to you, uh, the American consumer. Don't forget, any questions or comments you want to make, just visit our website at HomeTalkUSA.com. Also, you can catch us on all the Facebook and uh, social media, the Twitter. Uh, the keyword is Home Talk USA. All right, Rita, uh, man, I, I, this next guest, I'm looking forward to speaking with him and you. Uh, I love talking to the manufacturer themselves because I tell you, these are the guys that make it happen because you can have all the technology in the world, but if you don't have anybody producing the technology, I don't care what you have. You got nothing, right? <laughs> That's right. And I have known ITI Manufacturing for years, um, and they've always had a very good reputation and done good good work for my inventors. And, uh, Joshua, we've got our first guest needs to give you a call when this is all over because he's looking for a manufacturer. So thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having me. It's quite a pleasure. Um, so Joshua is president and CEO of ITI Manufacturing, and so, the, you know, like we were saying earlier, is that nobody put pandemic in their 2020 business plan, and manufacturing, it shifts and it changes as the world's economy changes and as technologies change, um, but man, the, the last couple of years have been just a real hard knock when it comes to getting a product out there. So how have you seen things change in the last couple of years? Sure. Well, number one, thanks for having me on today. So obviously things changed for everybody in 2020, and I think everything started when everybody was more or less sent home, okay? And so you had a lot of people transitioning to work from home. They were no longer spending money on restaurants and and services like daycare and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of money available for people to spend on um, consumer products so that that, that they could enjoy in their homes and and that they needed to uh, because they were spending all of that time at home and and, uh, needed you know, experiences for their children, experiences for themselves that, that they weren't getting uh, externally anymore. And so that shifted a lot of demand profiles for, for products that companies used to be uh, accustomed to selling in the brick-and-mortar locations. Um, suddenly, consumers' demand was changing. It was all going to e-commerce. Uh, the types of products they wanted were changing. And couple that with uh, what happened with uh, availability of materials, Costs were skyrocketing. Skyrocketing. Uh, shipping times were increased. Uh, shipping shipping costs were increasing. So there was a lot of flux in availability and costs of both uh, raw materials, products, and uh, shipping space. So everyone in manufacturing has been through a difficult couple of years uh, because of those issues. A lot of it has kind of returned to normal at this point. Uh, we've seen. Uh, goods become available pretty routinely. Uh, the the supply chain has gotten a lot more predictable over, over this time. But man, it was it was very very tough for any consumer goods product company to kind of just understand and stick with what was going on in their in their particular consumer markets. Yeah. Well, and ITI is not just our expert on today. We are working with you to become one of our main sponsors. And so people will start seeing your name out there on a regular basis. What is it that an inventor should bring to you? Sure. Well, since we're the custom manufacturing or contract manufacturing piece of any inventor's sort of product cycle, uh, it's important to understand what's required for manufacturing, okay? The language of manufacturing is essentially engineering drawings. So once inventors have completed their design process, understood their customers' needs, finalized packaging requirements, and basically have their product to a point where they are saying to themselves, I want to launch launch this into the marketplace. Um, That is the point at which you contact ITI because at that point you've got 
engineering designs, material specifications, bill of materials, all of that design data available for us to talk to manufacturers to be able to provide uh, pricing and put together proposals for uh, a complete turnkey manufacturing of, of the product. Excellent. So when we're looking at then the, you know, I get inventors and say, well, you know, I want to manufacture in the U.S. And then we get inventors that say, I really don't care. I want somebody else to manufacture. My sense was always it depends on the materials that you need and what you need. Is that still kind of the, the, the way it is, is that you look at what it is that you're manufacturing and then what the materials are going to be required? Sure. That's a piece of it. It also kind of depends on where your customers are located, what sort of price point you, you, you need to be at. So, for example, some products are very good to be manufactured in China. Other products are very good to be manufactured here in the U.S. And the degree to that uh, kind of balance uh, often depends on the amount of labor involved in the product, the materials used in the product. So there are a whole host of factors that kind of help you along in this process of making your decision of where in the world should I manufacture my product. All right, and that is a great place to cut because the music is getting louder. Thank you so much, Joshua, for being on today, and we will have you back many times. Thank you very much, Rita. You take care and have a great day. And that website is itimanufacturing.com, and we will have it on our website. All right, we are off to pay some bills. Thank you, everyone, and Michael and I will be right back. 